Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark Mechanical tutorial. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a plus cube like this in Design Spark Mechanical. I'm going to go ahead and open up Design Spark. I'm going to go to File, Create a New Design. And then we're going to click here to make it a plan view. You go over here and grab your uh, rectangle, and then you want to define from center, make sure that that's checked. Now we're going to go, um, we want this to be 36 by 10. So we're going to do one 36 by 10, and then we want to do one in the middle here as well. So just come up 36 by 10. Okay, make sure that they're the same. Now we're going to go ahead and get our trim away tool. We're going to cut these pieces out of the middle here. Okay, now we're going to go over here to 3D mode. Go ahead and spin that. Then we're going to go ahead and pull this out 36. Just type in 36. And then um, we want to select the whole cube. And we want to come over here. We want to do a copy. So you do Control C, and then Control V as in Victor on the keyboard. Get another solid. Now we want to go ahead and rotate that. So we're going to go ahead and rotate that by the red here. I'm going to come around to 90 degrees, and then hit a select to click off. So now we have this shape here. All right, so now what we want to do is go ahead and combine both of these. So we'll just go ahead and select both of these, holding down the Shift key, and come over here to combine. So they become one. And now we can do a Control minus. We'll go ahead and select the whole cube. Uh, we can come up here to display, and then change the color. We can give it a red color. Um, or we can give it this gold or this kind of color. Let's go ahead and do red for ours. So this is going to be your uh, plus. Pretty easy to make. Now if you want to change, let's do a control plus to zoom in. If you want to add some fillets, uh, you can add them to just the faces. And we could do uh, we could do a small fillet here. Do 0.3, and then we could do that on every every face. 0.3. Do it on the top one. You multiple click, it will get everything. Do 0.3, and then just spin this around, and then do this one over here. Multiple click. 0.3, and then we'll have to go spin probably the bottom one. Go ahead and do that one. Multiple click, 0.3. All right, and now you're going to go ahead and spin this. Make sure you got all of them. Just one more, this one. Multiple click, type in 0.3. All right, and this should be your, uh, your plus cube. Looks like I got everything. We'll do a control minus. Let's go ahead and go to our views. We'll do a trimetric. This is going to be our, uh, our plus cube. Um, and what we could do is we could go into uh, um, Rhino and we can add a, a wood texture to this. If you want it, I can show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and save, save the model. We'll save it as the native file. We'll just call it cube. And then we'll put it on the uh, desktop. Okay, now we're going to save it as. Do a save as. We're going to change the file type here to STL. And then we're going to save it as cube. Hit save. Then we'll go ahead and minimize that. We're going to drag this cube into onto the Rhino. My trial has run out, but you can still uh, add textures. 
just can't save things. So we'll go ahead and open with millimeters. Run without saving. We'll open, double click on perspective. Now we're going to select everything. We're going to come over here to the uh, drop down menu for materials. We're going to click the plus and we're going to click on the import from material library. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and open up the wood texture. And we're going to grab a uh, maybe the polished wood. And then we're going to right mouse click and assign to objects. And we're going to come up here to the rendering window. I'm going to come down here to the drop backdrops and we're going to click there. And we're going to add a select dark gray. Hit OK. Now, in order to view this, we have to come up here to view and scroll down to ray trace and then let it, uh, let it trace out. And then we could right mouse click and spin this a little bit. So we have more of the plus. And then if you want to turn on the sun, you can. That'll make it a little more shinier of wood. You want it darker, you go there, turn on the, or you could turn on the spotlight or a skylight, I guess. That makes it darker. So whatever your preference is, um, probably have to make it darker if we we're going to turn on the sun. So let's just go, let's make that black. And then turn on sun, see what we got with that. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and I'll let that render. And usually right down here you can tell it goes up to a thousand ray trace cycles. And then it looks pretty good at a thousand. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, capture it at about right about four or five hundred. It doesn't have to go all the way. This is this looks fine to me. So just keep in mind if you do changes while you work while you're rendering, it's going to go back to zero. So we'll do um, on the keyboard. We'll do a uh, Windows symbol Shift plus S, and then we'll come up here and just drag a marquee around that. And then we're going to go down here, come up to our search for, and we'll hit Paint, and then we'll click there, do a Control V as in Victor, paste, and then we're going to go. Crop that. Then we'll come up here and do File, Save As, JPEG. And then we'll just call this uh, Cube, Cube 2, JPEG. Save it on the desktop, hit Save. And that's going to be our Plus Cube design in Design Spark Mechanical and then uh, Wood Texture rendered in Rhino 7. And then we'll say no to that. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed watching. That's going to end today's tutorial. and. Um, Last thing I'm going to do here is just uh, click on the solid. I don't like that red, so we'll go ahead and come up here to display and change it from red to uh, this brown color. That's a little bit better. Okay, uh, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. And as always, thanks for watching.